Why does Bob look like he doesn't even try when he sings? It's like his power is so natural, you know? Hey guys, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some more day six, and we're gonna be finishing out the uh my the not the my everyday six project, but just the everyday six project is we are in the month of November. This is the title track with the MV. I like you. I know y'all are really excited for when I get to the B side. I guess technically the second B side because there's two B sides, and I'll try will be the last video that I upload for the day, even though they all are gonna come out at the same time. But this is the title track with the MV. I like you for December 2017 of the Everyday Six project. Let's go. And for those of y'all that were watching my videos or my other videos from yesterday, um, I apologize. I have the audio fixed as you can clearly see and it shouldn't happen again, but that's not what this is about. This is about day six. I like you. Let's go. Okay. Well, I, I don't think we've had a day six song where it just kind of kicks in. We're just like a real quick, simple crash and simple beat. I like it though. Kind of like this jacket jo Doan's got on too, though. Oh, I like that. I don't. Okay, so I don't know if you heard it on your first try or if you maybe haven't noticed it, but when Jay sings that second part of the, the verse. The guitar comes in right behind him and matches his vocal melody. It's it's subtle, but it's really nice. I love the dissonance there on the keys. And Wampo comes on this part coming up right here. Right here. And then the, the down of the root note right there. Dun. That's really not. I, I love dissonance. It's just I, it's something beautiful about it in music. I don't know. It's just, it's just awesome. Okay, young K, let's go. Go Dawoon. Bob. Ooh, Bob with a less ball. I mean, I'm thinking that's the less ball before, but I'm pretty sure I have. Here we go, Jay. Okay, so out of all these looks right here, let's get back to all because out of all the looks that they're rocking here. Jay's is probably the closest thing to what I would actually wear, me personally, like jeans, t-shirt, you know, or shoes, t-shirt, and then like a long sleeve shirt kind of opened up sometimes or, or closed. However, I really like this jacket that doe has got on with the turtleneck too. Like, I don't know, that's just the look. It sucks to play the drums like that though, but that's a look. We're going to French a little bit. But. That strat has seen some some life. hits they're simple but i really like a lot he's definitely blowing up some sort of like present or surprise or something right on the rooftop here yeah he's texting her to come out and look see see how th that feel was although it was simple it was much more well put together and it wasn't sloppy like on the last b-side where i said like it wasn't bad but it was just it just kind of felt sloppy to me this was a much better way to do it because he hits, rolls the snare real quick and just does a quick tom fill, but it fits and it's, it's, it doesn't feel like it's wonky, you know? Like that's, that's a good example of a, a fairly simple fill that works. 
Taco J. Why does Bob look like he doesn't even try when he sings? It's like his power is so natural, you know? with that little run, Jay. What does the balloon say, guys? Let me know. Okay, so you can definitely tell... I would say that Young K probably wrote this. You can, like, in this performance part, he's the one that's kind of feeling it the most. But that's because he's the main lyricist, so, you know, like, he, he's more connected more than anything else. Not that they all don't help write, I know they do, but. What's the balloon say, guys? Let me know. Does it say, like, I love you, I'm sorry, or something? I need to start learning my Hangul characters. But I haven't started yet. This was a great, great song. The show must go on. Man, great, great, great song. Great, great song. I like you. Awesome, awesome song. Um, I really loved the vocals. I loved. I mean, let's be real. We love. We love all basics vocals. Oh, by the way, I don't know if y'all can really see it, but uh, your boy got some some merch. Um, but. Um, this song really, really good. I really like the the way that the instruments were put together, as far as how the it was strung along throughout the entire song itself. Um, the guitars were great. Young K's bass was, I'll say, a little bit, I don't say underwhelming, because he he just he fit where you need to fit in. He fit the pocket. He he rode the rhythm more than anything else, and it, it worked really well on this song. Dobun's drums in this were really, really great. I liked his fills; they were much better. Um, this time around, um, as they were just, they just fit really nicely more than anything else. Um, even though they were somewhat simple, they fit. And that's, that's, that's what's, you know, I'll say that's what's being, uh, being a musician and a drummer more than anything else is about. Cause it, you're driving, you're the driving force more than anything else of a song. But also whenever you're off or you're out, it kind of just throws things off sometimes. And everything that he did in this one worked really, really well. But, um, I'm not going to talk anymore cause we got to get to these B sides. Cause I know. There's two, and I know the last one, y'all have been hyping up since I started this journey at the beginning of December. But let me know what you guys thought about this one. Let me know what the balloon said as well, if y'all know Hangul or, or the Korean characters. Um, but anyways, thanks for sticking around on this one, guys. Cheers to y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one.